All right, we have uh, one of our last pages here. This is the tennis facilities, and for that, we're going to have to put on pictures. And on the top, you can see that we're going to have pictures up on top. Uh, what we want to do is when we click on those sm pictures, we move down to here. So these are going to be much smaller than the ones on the bottom. So the first thing we have to do is shrink up the other pictures. And if we take a look at it, if I right mouse click on this picture and go to uh, open with and then paint, open with and then paint, it's going to open up this and it's going to look like that. It's pretty big. So it's 800 by almost 500. So the, when I open up the other pictures, you'll see they're much smaller. They're 400 by 300. So I'm going to have to shrink this one more than them. So let's go ahead and resize this one first. I'm going to resize it, and I'm going to resize this by 20. And when I click OK, well, I'm going to make it 20% what it was before. So I'm going to shrink it by 80%. When I click OK, that's a, that's a pretty, that's what I'm looking for, about uh, 100 by one something or other. So I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as. Do not save it, or you're going to ruin the other picture. I'm going to keep it as a JPEG. And what I'm going to do is, since it was called Quartz, I'm going to call this Quartz underscore small, and then save it. So these will be right next to each other in the folder list. And I'll cl close that, event, that paint. I'll open up this one. And I'll open with and paint. Say so this one's smaller, so I won't reduce it as much. I'll make this 75% of what it was. So I'll put it 25 rather than 20, like I had on the other one. I'll click OK. And that's a little, still a little bit too small. We want it to be a little bit bigger than 100. So I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to resize it and I'll make this 30. All right, maybe 35. Let's try that one. Resize, and then 35. All right, that looks good. That looks like about the other size of the other picture. So I'll go ahead and then do a file, save as. Make sure you don't save it. If you save it, you can overwrite the other picture. And again, I'm going to make this uh, underscore small. In fact, before you um, do this, you might want to back up your pictures, because if you accidentally hit that Save button, um, there's no one doing it. All right, and then the last one I'm going to do is this one down here. I'm going to open that with Paint. It's about the same size as the other pictures. So I'm going to also do this as a resize Okay. Image resize. I'm not sure why that changed. Uh, and I'm going to change this to uh, 35 and click OK. Okay, that's about the size of the other picture. So again, I'll do a file, save as, JPEG. And again, I'll just add underscore small to this picture. And then I'll go ahead and save it. All right, so now I have my three uh, pictures. And here they are, the smaller pictures on below for each one. You can see that one's just a little bit bigger, and that's fine. Close enough. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create the page. So um, we're going to move this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and open up a HTML kit. We want to go into the, get the title. Copy that, open that, and paste it in.
make sure you just paste in that one. Okay, we're going to be doing hyperlinks, so let's go ahead and let's do the style. Close the style. We want to change the body attribute. So we use a brace, some space, and then close brace. Okay, the attribute I want to do first is change the background color. Dash color. And I'm going to make that tan. And then I want to change the margin. So again, if I can't remember what that is, I'll come over here and I'll go down to margin and I want a margin left and a margin right. Margin dash left. And that's going to be 10%. And then margin dash right. And I'm going to make that 10%. And then the last thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to be doing bookmarks and hyperlinks, I want to add the padding. So if I go over here, I can take a look at padding, and I want to change the padding bottom. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Padding-bottom. And we're going to make that 1,000 pixels. And we can make that a little bit smaller if it ends up being too much. All right, now we're ready to go and do the body. So I'm going to go back to my notepad file, and I'm going to grab all this. I'm going to copy it and paste it in. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and start building. First, we're going to do is start with the H1 tag. And then we're going to close the H1 tag. And then we'll test to see if we have successful. Okay, that's how it's all going to look. And let's go ahead and skip this first. And let's go down to here. And this is going to be a paragraph tag and that closes the paragraph tag. And then it starts another paragraph tag. Okay, this ends the paragraph tag. And then we have a paragraph tag here. And then we close it here. And then we'll have the heading, this heading, H1, H2 I mean. And then we'll close the H2 tag. And I'll go ahead and copy this, paste it here, paste it here, and then I'll paste it here. I'll replace this, paste it in, get rid of the slash, yeah, then replace this, paste it in, get rid of the slash, and then I'll go ahead and preview it and see how it looks. So there's our facilities. We're going to put pictures all up on here. And then we're going to have the other pictures down here. And those pictures will be in the air. And then we'll hyperlink them to those uh, pictures. All right, that's it. That's good for now. And then we'll next video will show us how to do all the pictures in here.